guys, it's me. Um, I am back with another foundation review. So, we'll get ready, y'all, because we are done with CoverGirl. Done, done with CoverGirl. <laughs> so, what I have today is the number seven, woo, sorry about that, Airbrush Away foundation. It says, for all skin types and medium coverage, blurs fine lines and pores for velvety smooth skin hypoallergenic. Um, says always for best results always shake before use to draw the foundation up into the dropper ensure that the cap is fully screwed down squeeze the bulb gently to dispense so it's a dropper I'm not gonna um, read the whole thing but I did want to point out that it says to blend it on your face um, with your fingers or a brush I'm gonna try a sponge but I think it's a liquid foundation so um, like and I don't mean like a liquid foundation I mean like a liquid foundation um, with a dropper so I think the sponge is probably gonna soak up a lot of the product but we'll try it anyway just to see um, okay so I've seen number seven products at Walgreens which is where I got this and Target this was $17.99 at Walgreens and so with tax and everything where I live it came out to be $19.52 so almost $20 for a foundation $20 this better be some really good foundation for $20 at the drugstore. All right, let's take a look at it. I, I'm not sure how they do their shades, but I got the one that was farthest to the left, and so this should be like the lightest shade, right? But it's called Calico. Like, I just, I get so annoyed um, with foundations. It's like, if you're gonna have a light shade, why don't you just put like light or lightest or fairest? You know, something like that instead of like weird names like Calico or yeah, I don't know. It just that it just annoys me. All right, so we've got the dropper. Oh, it's like one of these weird droppers. Okay, it's really liquidy, but it's it's not like like you can hear it shaking up in there, but it's not like as liquidy as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like um like water, like that viscous. Viscous? No. It no. Viscous is more thick. So yeah, I thought the viscosity would be less, like it would be thinner and runnier. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. Now the shade, oh, honestly, the shade looks um, like it's gonna be too dark. Okay, so I've got some in the dropper. I'm dropping it out. So yeah, oh, it's, it's, it's probably about as, liquidy as a it's running a little bit but it's just about as liquidy as a regular foundation so I'm gonna go one side sponge one side brush so let's see what we've got mm, it smells like paint like straight-up house paint Yeah, the sponge is soaking it up a bit, but it's still wanting to spread. So I put about, I don't know, I want to say maybe a pea-sized amount on my sponge or on my hand. And, uh, yeah, like you can see it went in the in the sponge and that's practically going on the hand so all right so what do we have for coverage the shade doesn't look terrible yeah I wish it was a tad lighter but it doesn't look terrible at all um, I'm gonna go ahead and just take a little bit on my finger and add a little extra to my under eye area just to see how it spreads and works with uh, just fingers It almost feels like like an oil is what it feels like it feels kind of nice like that sort of texture but that also makes me a little nervous because how's that gonna last on my skin you know like it feels very moisture like uh, A lot of moisture. All right. Let's see if I can find my mirror. There it is, and I'm going to take a look up close. Oh, 
Oh, it looks nice. It looks really, really natural on your skin, and yet it's hiding all my pores. All right, so let's try a little bit more on the other side. Putting about half a pea size out on my hand again. Loading up my brush. Yeah, I don't like the way it smells. Alright, the texture of this foundation makes it very difficult to know like if anything is being deposited on your skin. Yeah, I would consider this shade a little too dark for me, but it's not looking terrible. This might be a good one to like be a mixer if you were willing to pay 20 bucks for it. I'm gonna put just a little bit more on just because I can't really tell, and especially in this lighting, sorry about the lighting, you guys. I'll put my updated thoughts when I get home because a lot of times I can tell a little bit better in that lighting in my house. How it looks. Um, it's really bright today, sorry you guys. I don't know. I'm. This is looking really, really pretty, in my opinion. Like, it just, it looks like it just evened everything out. It's not covering like a whole lot, but it's doing something to my skin that's making it look really good. And I'm not sure what that is, but it's looking really nice. Let me give you guys a close up look. Um, yeah, it kind of has like a beige undertone. It looks really good. I mean, it's looking really, really good on my skin. It feels a little bit tacky. It's not transferring at all, like no transfer. Well, a little bit of transfer, I take that back. A little bit of transfer on my fingers. Yeah, a little bit of transfer, so it's not fully like set down yet. It's looking really good on my skin though. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think it must be the undertone. It's got like a beigey undertone. It's just making my skin look really good. It's too dark though. If it was a little bit lighter, like maybe one shade lighter, it'd be a good one. All right, so. I'm not sure what to think about this one. It's nice. I would never spend $20 on a foundation. No, that's not true. This one's making me think I might spend a little bit like $20 on a foundation. <laughs> it looks really nice so far on my skin. But um, This is first impression, so I will wear this for the rest of the day. As of right now, I'm saying I like it. I like really like it. I think it's gonna I think it's just too dark for my skin though. It's very luminous. It's like has a luminous finish. Like I'm looking at it right here and I can see like a lot of shine right there. But it doesn't look like bad shine. Like it looks really pretty. Really, really pretty. And of course I would set this with a powder because I always set everything with a powder. Alright, so I will wear this for the rest of the day, you guys. And so far I'm really liking it and uh I'll let you know my updated thoughts in the description box below. If you um are having a, having a good time. <laughs> if you're enjoying these first impression foundation reviews, please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.